Hi, this is Mike Protak on August 20th, 2009, talking again about health care. We have to ask ourselves the essential question, what must we do in order to improve the health of the American public? I mean, that's the essential question today in the health care debate. Let's think about principles that include, among other things, wellness, productivity, and security, which are vastly important to us as patients and human beings. A sense of equity, a focus on health, disease prevention, and chronic disease management and economic sustainability are important in the larger sense of the nation. Timely access to a core benefit and the process defining that core benefit should be transparent and fair. But you have to understand something. Giving everyone access to insurance, while critical, will not solve the health care crisis, not without a way to rein in costs which do not address or improve quality or reduce errors. To focus on treating people when they are ill, we have to invest in getting them well, keeping them well, and work smartly and hard to get them better. Unfortunately, the Obama plan has veered off course in way too many directions, which has been almost impossible to follow. Sometimes we talk about coverage, then cost, then insurance companies, then public option, then no public option. In order to achieve a bill, the President has going to making inside deals with a lot of entities, Big Pharma, ARP, and others, and they've clearly missed the mark. The health care plan should be patient-centered, restrict and reduce costs in a smart manner, and produce better outcomes. That's what we want. That's what we need. Unfortunately, now, the twists and turns of the Obama plan, the Congressional Budget Office has said the bill will increase the federal de debt obligation and the Mayo Clinic has said the bill will not have a positive effect on health care outcomes. And now it looks like insurance companies, not much has changed for them. They'll have the same role they did before. Mr. President, this is not what we signed up for. We deserve better. We deserve leadership. I think it's time for the President and the Democrats to start over. Passing a brokered patch job is bad medicine for the country and for us as individuals. Let's do a few things first. Let's reform Medicare. Let's reform Medicaid so we make them more sustainable and produce more value for recipients and for taxpayers. Let's enact real tort reform to save money in the clinical setting and in the courtroom. We can do that. And let's remember the Constitution. Let's allow the states to implement their own universal health care proposals without the one-size-fits-all Washington solution filled with lobbyist dreams and deals and government intrusion. We can do better. Mr. President, it's time to start over and think of patience, not special interests. It's Mike Protak on the 20th of August, 2009.